Let's talk about the various machine learning tasks that can be accomplished on graph representations of data. A common task is labeling nodes of a graph. We are given a graph with some nodes labeled and some unlabeled. The goal is to predict labels of the unlabeled nodes. These nodes may have attributes or features associated with them. In a transductive setting, like the one shown here, the features and connectivity of the unlabeled nodes are available during training. In an inductive setting, the goal is to predict labels of previously unseen nodes. For example, you may be given multiple graphs where both the node labels and node features are provided, and your goal is to predict node labels on a previously unseen graph. This is a challenging task, essentially because during prediction of a particular node's label, the classifier does not have access to the labels of the nodes in its neighborhood. One example of node classification is point cloud segmentation. A point cloud is a collection of points with some coordinates that are obtained, for example, by laser scanner. These points can be used to construct a graph by creating edges between nearby points. The example shown here is of semantic point cloud segmentation, where the points are classified according to objects they belong to. We can see here that points belonging to the chairs and the walls are labeled differently. Another example of node classification is identifying the nodes in a graph that lie on the shortest path between two nodes. For example, in the image on the left, the nodes on the shortest path between the white node and the black node are shown in blue. A graph neural network can be trained to identify the nodes on the shortest path. In practice, we do not need a neural network for this particular task. However, neural networks can be used to provide approximate solutions for more complex problems on graphs, such as the traveling salesman problem. Another task on graphs is link prediction, where the goal is to predict the missing edges between the nodes, possibly along with the label on the edge. An example of link prediction is predicting side effects of consuming drug pairs. What we see here is a heterogeneous graph where nodes can either present proteins or drugs. The edges between the proteins represent the protein-protein interactions, while the edges between the drugs represent known side effects of consuming drug pairs. Finally, the edges between drug nodes and protein nodes represent drug-protein interaction. Given this information, a model can be trained to predict possible unknown side effects of drug combinations. Another important task is graph classification. Here we are asked to in classify entire graphs. One application of graph classification is classifying point clouds. Similar to image classification, where the input is a 2D image and the output is a label, here the input is an unstructured graph and the output is a label, such as a bag, a laptop, so on. Another interesting application of graph classification is classifying molecules. A molecule can be presented as a graph where the nodes are atoms and edges are bonds between atoms. For example, a graph neural network was used to predict the relationship between a molecule's structure and its smell. Yet another interesting application of machine learning models applied to graphs is simulating complex physics. In this example, a graph neural network is used to simulate liquid sloshing in a container. In short, the liquid is first modeled as a set of particles. A graph representation of these particles is then constructed where the edges link nearby particles. The constructed graph is passed into a graph neural network which predicts the positions of the particles in the next time step. And this process is repeated until the simulation is over. 